In this video, we're going to solve the differential equation. So we're going to let y equal the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of c sub n times x to the n. The derivative will just be n times c sub n times x to the n minus 1. Whenever you take the derivative, you have to increase the index here. So from n equals 0, it goes to n equals 1. And now we use the, uh, the original differential equation, substitute y prime and y in terms of the series representation. And so now we have to multiply uh, or distribute the sum to x and negative 2. So when I multiply by x, I have x times x to the n minus 1, which is just x to the n. Then that's minus 2 times the sum, and then plus the other sum equals 0. Now the one thing I don't like is uh, this index is 1 and this n, this exponent is n minus 1 and I want to make that n. So if I set this equal to 0, I decrease this index which means I have to increase the n's inside the sum. So those work in opposite directions. And so now I have everything starting from n equals 0 and I have x to the n everywhere so I can bring this all under one sum and factor out at x to the n. So it's n times c sub n for the first one, minus 2 times n plus 1 times c sub n plus 1 for the second, and then for the last one we just have c sub n. So I'm going to set this equal to 0, and basically I got n times c sub n and c sub n to the right side, factor it out the c sub n, and then multiply both sides by negative 1 to get to this. The n plus 1s are going to cancel, and so we have c sub n plus 1 equals to c sub n over 2. So if I let n equal 0, c sub 1 is c sub 0 over 2. And if I let n equal 1, I get c sub 0 over 4 n equals 2, I get c sub 0 over 8. And so this is the pattern that I get, basically multiplying the denominator by 2 and keeping the numerator the same. So I can factor out the c sub 0 and recall that we said y is a sum from n equals 0 to infinity of c sub n times x to the n. So here I have the solution y equals c sub 0 times 1 plus x over 2 plus x squared over 4 plus x cubed over 8, etc. So you may be wondering why do I have the 1 here if I don't have it over here? Because recall when n equals 0, I have c sub 0, x to the 0. That's just c sub 0. Okay, so that's, the, that's when n equals 0. This was when n equals 1, n equals 2, n equals 3. Okay, so this is my sum and so I can rewrite this in terms of y equals c sub 0 all over x minus 2 and so now we want to find the interval of convergence we'll call that rho and so the way you find that is by taking the quotient of c sub n over c sub n plus 1 and recall that c sub n plus 1 was c sub n over 2 so I'm just going to rewrite this inside in terms of c sub n. So leave the numerator the same, and then the denominator, I'm going to replace c sub n plus 1 with c sub n over 2. And so these are going to cancel. I have 1 over 1 over 2, which is just equal to 2. And so the series converges if the absolute value of x is less than 2. And so the radius of convergence is equal to 2.